right. We are at Royal Golf Club, my local spot. Um, yeah, so starting off hole one, it's pretty chilly. I think it's about six or seven degrees. Been spitting a little bit. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't start raining. And uh, I didn't bring any gear with me for, for the wet. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. First hole, we're starting off. We've got the bunker on the left, some distance between, and then bunker on the right. I am thinking that I'm going to try to play between the two bunkers. So, I'll probably hit my hybrid. A little bit chilly still. Yeah, let's just knock it up, try to get it over the first bunker. The first bunker is carrying about 170. It's a little bit cold. I would hit my five, but I think I'm going to go with the hybrid. Yeah, let's get it. Nice, easy swing. I'm going to be aiming for the right edge of the right bunker. No, you know what? I'm actually going to go middle of that bunker, and we'll see how that goes. Because right now, I don't trust my, my shape very much. Great shot. It did actually draw a bit. And it's landed right in the middle. Let's just hope it's not rolled into the bunker. Because uh, there's this chance it did. Yeah, so it looks like we've ended up in the bunker. Yeah, it's, it's not the worst thing. Um, at least my shot was pretty good, so happy with that. All right, so middle of the green is about 140. Got a little bit of wind behind me coming from the left. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll just, uh, so I think I'm just going to take an eight iron and try to get a good shot. Oh, shit. Get over. Okay, well, I thinned that. And uh, yeah, I can feel it sticking through my fingers. But it uh, looks like I've just hopped over the back of the bunker. And it uh, looks like I'm safe, so kind of lucky. I'm busy working on some small swing changes. Uh, I'm trying to create a bit more lag and uh, shallow the club a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so obviously bringing something like that onto the course is a little bit tricky. So I don't want to think about it too much. I think I'm just going to swing my swing. And hopefully some things that I've done on the driving range will translate without me you know overthinking it too much because that can also do harm so yeah let's see how it goes so ended up pretty good result not a bad lie let's see what we can do oh not the best All right, good start. Nice little par. Considering you got a little bit lucky, but uh, yeah, all part of the game. All right, par four. It's pretty open on the right. There are just two bunkers that we got to get over. The first one is about 135 meters to the back. So I'm really just going to choose a club, and then there's water about 200 meters away. So I'm going to choose. It rolls down a bit, so I, th I think what I'll do is I'll choose a a six iron so i've got a bit of a a draw bias which is strange because in trackman when i play some golf it tends to fade a little bit so i'm a little bit confused at the moment but i'm going to aim basically straight in line with those trees and if it draws a little bit I'll, I'll aim for the middle of those trees on the right and if it draws a bit i should be all right if it fades a little bit i should be all right so We'll see how that works. And that's a chunk, which is not what I wanted at all. And in the bunker. All right, we got 110 to the back. It's a subtle breeze. To get over the water, I need about 100. No, I lie. 95, we go with 50 degree. Nice, I think it might have landed on the green. When it touched long though, 
but yeah. So not a bad result at the end of the day. Been high. It's uh, yeah, I just dropped down into this bowl. All right, so putting up slightly left. I think it's going to roll just a touch to the right. But you know what? Just getting it within three foot would would be happy. Just finding a line to run over. And I've been putting, looking at the hole recently for my lag putts. And uh, let's see if it works. Sit. Oh, too much. Too much. I haven't really putted too much today. Oh, that was close. All right, buggy. So distance I want to be hitting. Trouble starts basically in line with that big building behind the green. I don't know if you can see all the way at the back. But I've got about 230 meters to play with. So for me, let's uh, pull out my three hybrid. And assuming I'm going to draw this a little bit, I'm going to be aiming bunker on the right of the green. Great shot. My swing didn't feel too fantastic, but straight down the middle, so super happy. So, wind behind, a little bit of wind. It's only going to add a couple of meters on. It's 170 to the front of the green. I think it's going to be a bit tough to get on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim. I don't want to, I'm going to aim in front of that bunker on the right. So, I want to hit a club that's not going to reach that bunker. And hopefully I can end up on the fairway just to the right of the green. Considering the wind, considering it's a little bit cold, I should probably be hitting a, well that might eliminate one another. So I think I'm going to go for a six iron and just a smooth six. Oh, I think that's great. Oh, perfect. So I just didn't make it on the green, but it's exactly where I wanted. So yeah, great. I should probably bump and run, but I just don't know how it'll run out. I think my 50 degree bump and run probably is the safe option. Too many times I've been in a good spot like this and then uh, end up at my 60 degree and doing something silly. So I'm going to hop this up and just landed just off of the green and hopefully that'll slow down. At worst, hopefully it's just a, a two putt, but. Oh, that worked out great. Oh, ho, 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 ho. almost dropped that one in. That was perfect. Boom. Nice. Happy with that. Very happy. Yeah, just got to keep it simple. Go for the high percentage shots. Easy swing. Be confident in what you're doing. All right. I don't have my range finder. I changed the batteries and as a result, forgot it at home. But uh, yeah, front of the green, according to my watch, 90 odd meters. We got a little bit of wind from behind right. And then obviously there's a little bit of a drop. So I definitely think it's my 54. Obviously, I don't want to go over the back. I've done that a few times in this hole. I'm going to aim because I'm drawing a bit and the wind's coming from the right. And it's going to aim between the, the, between the flag and the bunker on the right and uh yeah just an easy one just smooth smooth good contact is all i want and i feel that weightlessness and then trying to get this new these new feelings oh be good okay on the green but i think too long Unfortunately, it just flew too nicely. Should have held back a touch more. My 54 normally carries about anything from 100 to 105. But this hole, for some reason, um, yeah, some days it just feels like it plays long. Today seems to be playing a little bit shorter. And uh, I've gone over the, the middle of the green. Uh, hopefully I can get a putt, otherwise it looks like I might be chipping. 
but yeah, need to get a handle on that a bit better. There's the flag. I'm down there. Right, I'll go for my trusty 50 degree. And there's this, this hill that I need to get over. Lies a little bit on the sand. I'm going to aim a touch right. Oh, that looks really good. Get over. Oh, just a bit too much spin. Ended up stopping right on top of that hill. Sit. All right, not the best. All right, bogey. All right, par four. Bunkers on the right. I need to carry 160 odd to get over them. And then there's a backstop. Well, backstop, there's danger at about 210 meters. So should maybe be hitting five iron. But yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's hit my five iron. I haven't hit it in a while. And it'll be good to give it a bash. So a bit of a draw. I'm standing on the left of the tee box. Gives me a little bit more space on the right. Um, and yeah, now I'm just finding where I feel like standing, where I can get some good traction on the grass. And uh, yeah, pop it there. Ball not too high, but just off the ground. Yeah, now I'm choosing my line. It's probably going to be a small draw, maybe even a touch of a fade, because with my five iron, I, I tend to fade a little bit. So you know what? I'm going to aim pretty much the biggest portion of that bunker on the left. Pretty much a straight. A little bit of wind from behind. Very nice. A little bit of a fade. But over the bunk on the right. So I'm happy. It's, it's uh, fine. We'll play. Got 115 to the back. 90 to the front. So I'm going to drop it at about a you know, 100 meters. Goes my 54. I'm going to aim kind of middle, middle green. Yeah, about 5 meters right of the flag, I think. That is the right club. Just checking. Okay, it's an easy swing. It's looking good. Yeah. Oh, it's rolling down nicely. It's rolling down to the ball, to the flag. Landed exactly middle of the green, a little bit straighter, a little bit less draw than I thought, but uh, perfect. Well, this is what you want to see. Very nice, coming up to the ball. Here's my pitch mark. All right, ready, Pat. Oh, I twisted the club. Twisted my putter the last second. What a clown. Not many opportunities to hit driver at the moment. Yeah, just because of the winter tees. So let's see if I can make the most of this. Water on the right, bunkers, front right. So I'm basically just going at that pole if I'm going to be drawing. Hopefully I'm drawing it. That pole behind the green. Let's see if I can swing a good swing here. Oh, no, there's a shift on. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't a great drive, but anyway, so I've got 155 to the front, no real wind, 166 to the middle, my lie is decent, I think I'm going to have to opt for a 6 instead of a 7, I don't want to end up in that bunker, but a 6, if I strike a 6 well, it's going to go too far, so you know what, I'm actually going for 7, and then just swing confidently, but see now my shape is confusing me a bit, because I'd love to hit a bit of a fade here. I think I'm going to try that. I shouldn't, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be, but I am a bit left. But left and work it right.
Wow. I got lucky. I mean, it wasn't the greatest connection. It was a little bit toey. Um, but middle of the green looks to be about 15 foot from the hole. So, stoked. All right. Another birdie putt. Wouldn't have expected that on this hole considering the drive and then the connection on the ball with the second shot. But uh, I'll take it. Got to take the, the wins when they come around. Might not deserve them, but uh, is what it is. All right, so it's a bit of a left to right. Um, I'm feeling it's about there. I'm going to try roll over this little green patch. And um, I'd rather be a little bit, rather aim a touch high. So let me roll over this green patch. And then... I'm going to look at about a spot about halfway to gauge the distance so that I don't aim actually for the hole. Get in. Oh, stoked. Birdie. Nice. From the left and a little bit towards me. More from the left, front, 95, middle, 100. Mm, I don't want to go over. I feel like a 50 degree is going to go over, but I don't want to be short. So, you know what? I think I'm going to hit a... Oh, no. That's, that's in the water. Oh. Distance was great. Distance was good. It just... The wind was way more, was more aggressive than I thought, so I'm going to aim a little bit more left. That's looking better. Come on. Oh, beautiful. I think that's good. Go have a look. All right, so I was pretty close to the bunker. I'd rather be here than over, actually. So, all right, let's see. Oh, my putting's not too bad today. All right, double bogey, two bunkers on the left. It's a dog leg right, par four. It's a, it's a tough hole. Um, let's see here. So. Back bunker is 170 to carry, so and I want to be past that bunker, so I'm going to go hybrid. It's starting to spit a little bit. Hybrid and just, yeah, draw it in a bit. Um, subtle, a touch of wind from behind, not much. Okay, now the wind's changed. Now the wind's into me. Danish wind, I never know where it's coming from. All right, so I'm going to aim for those tall trees. If I draw it a bit, yeah, I just don't want to fade it and then... Yeah, I need to get better with knowing my shot shapes. Oh. I lost that. It drew too much and went over the, the back bunker. So I might be uh, in trouble. So unfortunately, my ball did go over. Um, I didn't see a drop, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's gone. There's a lot more wind coming from right to left that I didn't feel down there because you're protected by the trees. And you can't really see much of the wind either because there are no leaves on the trees. So, yeah, my draw did not help very much of that. But, yeah, so I've dropped. We've got one, 115 to the middle. I don't really want to go over. So, yeah, let's see. I'm going to aim middle of the green. It might draw, but a little bit of, there's a little bit of headwind. Wow, short. Maybe had the wrong club there. Oh, you beauty. That was a great shot. Wow. Very stoked with that. Oh, I underread it. Gosh. 
Right, let's go. This is dog leg right. I don't want to draw this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try put a bit of a fade on. I'm not really skilled at doing that. I've never really tried to do it much, but I want to start. So. That was, that felt great. There's a chance it went a little bit more right than I intended. Um, but the fact that it actually went right, I'm super happy with. All right, that was a killer drive. I will remove the mud from my ball. Front of the green is 75, but a wind. I would go a full 60. I don't know, a little bit of an awkward stance. Eh, just a touch awkward. There's a little bit of wind. I think the Three quarter 54, which should get me about the same distance as the better play. The wind is coming left to right and a little bit into me. Balls below my feet, so there's a chance it's going right a little bit, but I've got a bit of a draw, kind of contracts on another. Oh, come left. Mm. Not great. It's not the worst, but I'm just going to play my 60 at this. Oh, sit. Oh, almost too much. Subtle left to right. A little bit downhill. It's pretty much straight there, I think. I don't think it's going to turn too much. Nice. That was a good up and down for a pass save. Nice, not too bad of a round. The front of the bunker is 240 on the right. So I shouldn't be hitting my driver because there's a wind from behind. I really want to though, but I won't. Let's get the hybrid out. So I'm assuming I'm going to draw a little bit again. So I'm going to aim for the bunkers straight ahead. And it'll hopefully draw in a bit. And the wind's from the right, so. But I just want to get this nice flirt and then it's like I'm hitting a, hitting a sledgehammer against the wall. But then when I hit, I'm just, I'm just, just hitting. I'm not thinking about it. Not the worst. I got under it a bit too much and uh, skied it a little, but it's fine, it'll do. Not a bad view for some winter golf. Good position. So it's 115 to get over the, the bunker in the front, which is a 50 degree. Also, there's some wind behind. I think the right club is aiming left. Not going straight for the flag because that's uh, over the bunker. But I will, yeah, I'll aim more left and then just choose a club which will hopefully get over the bunker if I go towards the bunker. But there's wind as well, right? So the wind will probably add about five or, or eight meters onto my shot. So I'm going to try fade it in a bit. Wind from behind, it probably won't fade much. I mean, I normally draw, so I'm not sure what I'm trying, but let's see if it works. I want to get better at it anyway. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That came in with a bit of a draw into the wind, landed, and you'll see it's, it's actually a couple of, two, three meters from the hole. I mean, that just worked out. Brilliantly. Okay, birdie putt again. Nice. Let's hope I can do a bit, bit of a better job this time around. All right. Looks pretty straight to me. Touch of a right to left. Wind's also a little bit right to left. So, might have a small effect. Sit. Oof. Not, not a bad putt. Good par, happy with that. All right, we got a couple of bunkers in the way. 
Um, left is out of play. Uh, it's not going to happen. The middle one, yeah, that one's about to carry is 187. And um, yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim to just hit over that with my hybrid. The next bunker is 215, so there's a chance I roll into that bunker. But to carry that one, I need to hit 225. And I mean, there's a little bit of a breeze, there's a chance, but I, it's, it's too cold. I don't think it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I won't get there now, I don't think, carry wise. So I'm just going to hit classic hybrid and uh, yeah, just hopefully carry that front bunker. Yeah, then it should be about uh, 90 meters. 100 meters into the green so i'm kind of going to aim at the bunker on the right on the left edge of the bunker on the right get over nice it was a touch and go for a second the strike could have been a little bit better but uh yeah it made it over yeah if you guys enjoy this kind of content just me playing the course giving some thoughts on, on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Yeah, please uh, follow along, like and subscribe. Uh, I'd appreciate that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you get some value out of this. If not, a little bit of entertainment. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully start doing some vlogs. We've got a, a tournament coming up for our, our club. It'll continue throughout the year. And I think once a week we... We play a game and I'm going to try do some recording there. Uh, might prove to be a little bit tricky. You know, you always feel a little bit rushed when you're with other guys and trying to film. But um, hopefully I can, I can get that going. And then I'll also show you the setup that I'm using uh, with how I'm getting the recording done. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments if you, if you have any suggestions or would like to see anything specific. Cool. There's the tea box, the bunker, and up ahead is the ball. So everything worked out pretty well. There's the bunker on the right that I was hoping to not get into. And uh, yeah, there's the flag in the distance. It's a pretty good result. Wind behind 80 meters, 85 meters to the middle. There's some wind behind 75 meters to cover the bunker. With this wind, I'm guessing it's probably like 70 meters. So I'm finally going to pull out the 60 degree and uh, give that a whack. I could consider three quarter 54, but uh, I, th I think I'm going to feel more confident having a close to 100% shot. Well, no, not 100, but a full swing, which will be like 85%. Okay, I'm going to aim a touch left. It's because uh, no, it's going to run down on the left. So I'd rather be middle green. Get over. Nice. Well, there we go. Middle of the green. Could have gone just slightly left, but um, I mean, perfect. Not going to complain with that. This actually looks pretty straight. I think, if anything, right edge. The start's also sloping down, so it's going to put it a little bit left in the beginning, more aggressively. Just over this, there's a, a spot here. I'm going to be focusing about thirds of the way to try to get the distance right. Get in, boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. I must say my lag padding has improved. A lot since looking at the hole. Yeah. 